What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're jumping in the next one on Emily Linga Journey, doing the Beatles' newest one. Uh, now and then, let's jump in. Let's check it out together. I heard that there's a whole he, he they found John's voice on the cassette tape, and everybody sang along with him, and they just released the song. I think that kind of stuff is awesome when you can still release things that just you come across after somebody's gone you think oh this is the end and then you find some things and you're able to work with it to put something out there for the fans it's an absolutely beautiful thing let's see what she did with it 100 percent shout out to brad for the request let's go <laughs> Now I'm kind of curious to know if they know like what the whole song, what what are the ideas floating around out there about what the song, like what the backstory to it is. You just come across a tape, something that he was working on. Was there more to the story? Now I'm intrigued, and she's got me wanting to go listen to the original 100% because this is beautiful. Uh Her vocal control in this is ridiculously good. I miss you. Holy hell. 
That didn't make your hair stand up at certain points. I'm saying, what a... And then she goes back to being her sweet self. 100% gonna go check out the original now. I have to definitely get over show Emily all the love of the world. Her everything was perfect in this. Like, it was just kind of a beautiful, but at the same time, kind of haunting. Somebody is missing somebody like that. 100% people are going to feel this song. All of the Beatles fans around the world will probably have already felt this song and it's like their new thing. 100% relatable for some people. Smash the like button if you liked it, the dislike button, but I won't believe you at all. That was insane. Tell the next one, I'm the combustible. You guys be happy, healthy, stable. Let me see the mood back. Peace.